Hi and welcome to this week's Cadet at the Chateau where we are opening extremely exciting gifts with Pavlina, you're back again. Natty's behind the camera, Philip's not Hello. doing very well today so sadly he's not with us and Percy and Mummy and you can probably tell it's, it's a big studio light at the moment because it's quite late in the evening, the night before we leave for Egypt. So we'll have been to Egypt by the time you see this but obviously we're having to pre-film Caddo before we go but quite exciting. Have you packed? Yes. Of course. Of course they packed have. a week ago. <laughs> I have not packed. So that will be after this. Yes. So we'll see if anything in there is going to okay. come through to Egypt. Let's get on then. Oh, yes. Okay, <laughs> mummy. Right. Shall I start with this one then? Yes. <laughs> That's the one traditional is, one. This is from San Diego. Yes. It's a traditional one. A traditional of starting with a Christmas present <laughs> each cadeau. <laughs> Yeah, somehow we managed to get either birthday presents or oh, yeah. Christmas presents in every single cabinet yeah. opening at the moment. Oh, there's a note here. It says that there was chocolate, so I suspect the chocolate will have been taken out by mm -hmm. now. Dear Stephanie and Lalanders, my name is Pili. I'm originally from Santa Coloma de Gramanet, just north of Barcelona in Spain, but I've been living in San Diego, California, you know where, for quite a long time now. My story with the Chateau Diaries will resonate similarly to many others you may have heard of by now. A dystopian pandemic arrived. I had to shelter in place and I found myself with long hours to think. One day I thought, what if I remodel an old house in a Spanish village and move there once this craziness is over? Maybe I could find some inspiration on YouTube. Soon after that moment, the algorithm took me to your beloved chateau, where I found not only ideas for that house, but also a small universe of good vibes and peacocks that acted like a balm to my over-anxious, sometimes hysterical, soul. Now the pandemic is kind of under control, I'm back to my pre-COVID routine, and to be honest, I like it. So the old Spanish house remodeling idea is the only thing that moved to the back of my mind, to be precise, but I still find your channel really amusing, and I love paying my virtual weekly visits. My friend Dainara is a psychologist who also had thoughts during 2020. However, she did drop her career as a therapist and started her second act as a craftswoman. She launched Muxu Creations, muxucreations.com, where she sells her watercolors and many fabric creations she upcycles from scraps and old textiles. Last November, I spent a day in Los Angeles with her. We were hunting for bargains in a swap meet when I spotted a totally hideous old Toile de Jouy shirt and asked Inara, hey, you, can you take this sad shirt and make it better? She accepted the challenge. Inara married the fabric's French design and a Spanish-inspired model, transforming that thing into four handbags, one for you, one for me, and two for sale. Please let me know what you think of it. I think it's gorgeous, and I'm looking forward to going to an event where I can show it off. I'm also including a peacock Christmas ornament. I'm not sure if it'll be a repeat in your collection. I don't think so. And some chocolate crafted in San Diego County. So you can all think of amazing sunsets while having your daily theobramine fix. Best wishes, Pilly. Thank you, Pilly. I'm really excited to see the bag. And it's such a nice idea to find something in a fabric that you love, but that perhaps mm. isn't quite the right style for you. <gasps> we haven't got this one. Oh, isn't it gorgeous? Yeah. You know that Pavlina Spiky. means peacock, doesn't it? So, so <laughs> this is perfect for you as well. <laughs> so, yeah. You came to the right place, Pavlina, mm -hmm. when you came here. It's stunning. It's definitely going to go on the peacock tail tree. Definitely. I can't believe that... It's, it's nearly time to start thinking about this again. I like the bag it's in, never Beautiful mind the bag. Oh, wow. Oh, gosh. Oh. Ooh. Oh, but it's beautiful. It's almost the shape of a fan. There's a squirrel. I can't believe. I can't believe Philip's not here. <laughs> because what twelve we doesn't have a squirrel on, on a stick. A squirrel on a stick. It's perfect. I love it. Is it going to Egypt? Oh, wow. Yes, I think it will come to Egypt, don't you think? It's rather perfect for Egypt, isn't it? Yes. Okay, so something has made it through to Egypt at the last minute into the bag. It's beautiful. Wow. And this is the company. Thank you for purchasing at Muxu Creations. I'll just show this in case anybody wants to have a look at it. MuxuCreations.com. I love it. Wonderful. It's really clever. It's beautifully done. And it has a squirrel. And it came from a t-shirt. On both sides. I hadn't even noticed that. <laughs> Double-sided squirrel action. I love it. Thank you, Pilly. I really love it. So thoughtful of you. Look, look inside. So pretty. Oh, thanks. The next parcel 
is also from America and it is from Ohio. So this is a very large and extremely beautiful mm. note. Could be one of the prettiest notes we've had. Yes, it is the note. Oh, and there's such a gorgeous print in there as well. I love that. Dear Stephanie and all, in the spring of 2020, I was not only stuck in the house, but also stuck in a chair due to a broken hip. Better now. Looking for something to watch and new to YouTube, I put Chateau in the search bar. There you were greeting me in your yellow suit at the gates <laughs> of Belland. The first vlogs I watched were the tours of the Chateau and Design Sundays. I spent most of my adult life working as a colour consultant, designer, and have a passion for period homes both grand and modest. It is your joie de vivre, however, that has kept me returning. You've had the opportunity to do many remarkable things, but the joy you find in the simple things is a lesson to us all. Thank you for sharing it and all the remarkable people in your life. Cathy. Thank you, Cathy. I absolutely good. love this and the print. I'm certainly keeping this. I might use this as a bookmark in a coffee table book. You know, really beautiful yes, brown beautiful. book. It's lovely. Um, what is in here? Oh, this is for Philip. We'll put this aside for Philip. He can open it in the next caddo. And Natty, there's one for you. I've just popped it here. Thank and you. then this is Stephanie. And these are, let's see. This one isn't marked. Pavlina, maybe you'd like to open that one. It's a beautiful box. So pretty. Honestly, <laughs> mummy, you open that one. So this is a lovely brooch, look at that. Just lovely. Oh, and great books. There's a magazine I really enjoy. I've been sent uh, this magazine before, Bliss Victoria. It's a special French issue. A summer day in France, mm, all blue and white. So I'm going to love that. This is another thing that can come to Egypt. We can look at it on the plane, mummy. Good idea. Okay, that's coming, that's. <gasps> Oh, people have beautiful homes, don't they? Isn't that beautiful? Mm, the oh, garden that's just lovely. That's going. Mm. That's going with the bag. A side to come. What have you found? It says gentle lift. So I, I'm trying to <gasps> look, look, look. It has a oh, lid. So... Oh, that is. <gasps> it's the smallest lid I've ever seen. It's the tiniest lid on the tiniest teapot. Yeah. The lid is croissants. <laughs> That is the cutest, cutest thing. He's so jolly. Sweet, look with the little newspaper, croissant, looks like a muffin, That's a bit a of breakfast. grapefruit. It's a very good breakfast. It's very breakfast, La Lande, actually. It is, it's so La Lande. Oh, I love it, it's darling. Stephanie, shouldn't a centuries old chateau have an old looking key, alas, not antique, and a banner? I designed and stitched this banner in college for a medieval happening. It was in the 60s. It remained folded in a drawer all this time. I feel like I finally found a place for it to go. Oh, so that's so probably in here, I think. Or is that that? You've got the banner. Yes. I think so. Look at <gasps> wow. wow. Oh, and the key. Wow. <gasps> Oh, that's a beautiful oh, key. That is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. It's like something from Harry Potter, isn't yeah. it? We should have it hanging at the door to Narnia. It is beautiful. And the banner from the 60s. Let's see. This key. Mm. Oh, that is oh. beautiful. Oh, I like it's two oh. sides. The other side's great as well. Shall we turn it around, Percy? It's a pendant. <gasps> Beautiful. It's a, right. it's a pendant. I love it. It's beautiful. And now we have the one that Jared made, and this one. We're not like a proper medieval. Oh, this piece is, this now. is beautiful. It really yeah. is. But it should be shown this way around. No, I like that one as well. It depends yeah, on the color I mean, scheme. Look at this. Yeah, that's even more ornate. Look at this one. It's lovely. Well, I shall see what's in here. Beautiful. I have a book here. A proper breakfast. And if that's not a proper breakfast, I don't know what is. <laughs> Tea and croissant. I don't need anything else. A proper breakfast with its fetching watercolours offers stylish and imaginative breakfast from all around the world. Each menu includes delicious recipes, some traditional, others more exotic, all beautifully displayed with attractive table settings and presentation ideas. Again, I can't believe Philip's not here. Look at this. A whole book of incredible table settings. Oh, oh that's so charming. Isn't it gorgeous? It is. I'll see what they're serving at this one. That's a healthy start, that one. And what looked like cake is actually quick wholemeal and molasses bread mm. served with homemade yogurt, nut butter, and muesli. It's fabulous. I love it. Thank you. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, wow. 
I had a similar one that my aunt gave to me when I was very young. And I, it was one of my favorite things in the whole world. And this really reminds me of it. It's very beautiful. It is very beautiful. It's really rather elegant. I might put it on. Oh, you very nice look, with yeah. this, I think. You look very nice. There. I do. I really like it. It's very, very it's beautiful. Nice. And you mm. have found jewelry as well. Oh, you do. Oh. Brooches. Very beautiful ones. Oh, yes. It's a very elegant gentleman. And very oh, small, tiny. tiny. Oh, gosh, that's a but, woman. Yeah. That's so pretty. Would you like a presentation cushion yes. provided by yes. mummy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's yes. such a pretty bracelet. I haven't seen one like it ever. Wow. Do you see how thick it is? And then each piece is a different decoration. A fleur de lis there and a cameo. It's like good. I think it's beautiful. Charm, but... It is. It's yeah. very mm. similar to a charm one. Like a charm. Absolutely so beautiful. beautiful. Gosh, well, I love it. It's beautiful. That really, really suits you. My hand doesn't make do it justice, I'm afraid. You need a young hand. I, I disagree with you, only because when I was a little girl, I know, growing up in the nursing home, you would yeah. see um, women with very old hands and then huge rings. It's beautiful. Because they would all have their engagement rings. And, and I thought it was the most beautiful thing in the world. That very, very I love old it too. hands with yeah. beautiful rings. Not that you have very old hands, Mummy. No, no, of course not. No, very youthful, really. actually. Yeah. Very youthful. But it is a beautiful bracelet. It's absolutely beautiful. Look at the pretty paper. Isn't that gorgeous? Actually, that would make a cracking wallpaper. Yeah. <laughs> you can see another bathroom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you cutting? Um, yes, Mummy. Yes. No, of course, that's what I was going to do all along. Yes. I wouldn't dream of tearing. Oh, there you go, Mummy. Thank you. Perfect. Ah, oh, what is this? <laughs> Actually, a badger at Munsters. Oh, oh we don't we have thermometer. one in the house, oh, do we? Good. Well, for barometer. Oh, it's a thermometer. It has meant mine. <laughs> and we genuinely don't have one up in the chateau. We could have this in the back kitchen corridor and then we can actually see what the, what, what the temperature is. I love that. And it's such a pretty one. Isn't that a good idea? Percy will love that. Yeah. He loves it. Have you got it, Percy? And it's in Celsius. And napkins. It's very pretty. Oh, nice oh, napkins. Little embroidered flowers on them. Beautiful. And this will go so perfectly with that breakfast table setting book, mm -hmm. won't it? Can you just imagine these at those breakfasts? We we'll have really beautiful um, uh, glasses to go with it. Oh. With blue, light blue. Oh, yeah. They'll be really, really pretty. Mm -hmm. I love them. Thank you so much, Kathy. Everything is beautiful. It's really, really kind of you. And now I just want to make a beautiful breakfast, but I know that tomorrow morning we just have to run to the car as quickly as possible. And that's not easy for Philip and me. Otherwise, we're going to miss the flight. Are yes. you? But we won't miss it. <laughs> no, we're going in two separate cars, so they know they're fine. Are you planning a necklace? <laughs> it is so beautiful. I know, it? it really is beautiful. It's a key to my heart. It's a pretty big key. There we go. <laughs> and you don't have to work, Percy. You've already got it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Cathy. And this one is from Italy. And that's not very regularly we get things no. from Italy, is it? Oh, oh look. Isn't that pretty? Entri la pace in questa casa. I think it means bring peace to this house. Oh, lovely. Isn't that wonderful? Yes. And there's a little dove on it, bringing the branch of peace. It must be an olive branch, mustn't it? Yeah, it's it, a dove. Is. it is. It is. Yes. It is. And I have a note here. Spode, combs, a goose and postcard. And this says for Stephanie and all the Lalanders. And look at the way it's been folded. And I know they did this in the 18th century when they didn't use envelopes. They would fold yes. letters, in, but I, I haven't seen it done like that before. So intriguing and pretty. Isn't that clever? Wow. wow. Hi, Stephanie, Philip, Natty, Amory, and all the Lalanders. I'm Giorgio from Italy, sending a little gift for Easter. I'm excited for all the progress happening in the garden and the chapel, and I'm counting the days for the Grand Salon to become grand, even in the English meaning. I made one last minute added gift, a small blessed olive branch from the Palm Sunday Mass I attended. The note attached translates as, let peace enter this house. Wishing you all a lovely Easter and a day full of love, life and laughter and peace. Well, thank Giorgio, you. thank you. We did have a lovely Easter, but I will take these as blessings for the very next Easter thank to you. come. Thank you. And what does this note say? Spode, cones, a goose and a postcard.
Inside here, there are four Spode-inspired painted chicken eggs and one marble-inspired goose egg in blue and gold. There are a few ladies, my mother too, that empty clean paint the eggs and glue pasta on them for charity every Easter and using the insides of those eggs for cakes and biscuits, obviously, which I appreciate. They even tackle painting a few ostrich eggs in the past. I also added five cedar pine cones, which look like roses, and I use for decorations all year round, and a happy Easter postcard with the cutest little chicks ever. Happy Easter, joyeuse pack, buena pascua. Thank you, Georgia. Thank you. Um, that's reminding me, when I was little, with my father, we hollowed out an eggshell, and well, I say we, daddy pretty much did it all. And then he cut the egg in half. You can imagine how painstaking that is. And he glued a hinge onto it so that you could open it. And inside wow. there's a little ballerina uh, standing up in it. Do you remember? Yeah. It was amazing, <laughs> really amazing. And I haven't done anything like that since. That's the pine cone that looks like a rose and it does look like a rose. It looks just like a flower. That would also be wow. beautiful for a Thanksgiving table. Yeah. Not just for Easter. Or New Year's and New Christmas. <gasps> but look how beautiful. That's a real egg. Wow. Wow. And this is the goose egg here. Percy, do you want to open the goose egg? Oh, it's beautiful. Pretty, so, so pretty. Delicate. And there's more of these lovely, lovely rose cones. This is wonderful. So beautiful. It's quite magical, this box. The things coming there out. You are. So beautiful. <gasps> we should get geese just for the eggs. Yeah. In Ukraine, we also paint the eggs. For Easter. You do? Yes. Should we do that this Easter? Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. Painting <laughs> some eggs. Look at geese. Oh my goodness. I don't know how anyone has so the patience, on a, honestly. We can decorate the kitchen with them. This lovely blue look and white thing. Mm. Oh, look at this one. It is amazing. Oh, all different. Wow. Yeah, let's look at it with yours as well, Pavlina. Mm -hmm. All together. That's incredible. Amazing. Well, the kitchen is going to be so, so pretty at yes. Easter this year. I, look at the tiny flowers on that one. Mm -hmm. oh, and I think beautiful. this is the card, which I found as we were going through. This must be the cute little Easter chicks. It's adorable. Mm. Look at that. Look, look, up in the top corner. So cute. It's so fabulous, Georgia, honestly, look. Oh, look at that, chick. <laughs> How lovely. Oh, yeah, look at the little tiny one world. looking up. It arrived after Easter, so we couldn't open it for Easter this year, but don't worry, they will all be going up at the next Easter at Lalande. I absolutely can't wait to see them. This next one is from, I think, Germany. It's quite big. I'll open it on the ground because it's feels quite heavy actually. Oh, I Big can box. see what a pretty card. Mm. Pop up. Pop up castle. <laughs> that is amazing. Oh, oh I love it. Look, oh, it's George and the dragon. Though the dragon doesn't oh, yes. look in a mood for fighting, does he? He looks pretty chill. <laughs> and this says, Dear Lalanders, Merry Birthdays to come. Stephanie, Antoine, Pavlina, Gerald, something in memory of all gardeners. The Royal 1910 Lady reminds me of Marie, Isabel, Cassie, etc. Ooh, I'm sure all will be revealed soon. With much love to all and thanks for the nice vlogs. Hilly from Germany. Oh, Hilly, you've sent such lovely things before. Thank you. The Stoop St. Jacob shell is for the chapel. It's movable, so you need to remove your diamond heart. I don't, remember, I don't understand any of this. Oh, but this is brilliant. Antoine would have loved that card. Isn't that great? Okay, so we're going to open things and then we'll see if we can understand the message here. Right, what, what is all of this? Oh, 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 look, that's for the gardeners, surely. That's got to be, she could live in the greenhouse with lovely flowers in. I think she's, she's darling. I think this must be the lady from 1910. Yes, it's this, it's this that you were mentioning. Is there something in the greenhouse that would, we could keep inside her. Dried flowers? Some dried flowers I always. An arrangement. Because I think that the greenhouse should be a really beautiful space and not just practical. That's why we put some paintings on the wall. There's a couple of little sculptures. There should be beauty in there. <laughs> He's having a look. Mum's like, why? Why would you do that <laughs> to the greenhouse? <laughs> Don't 
you agree, Patrick? Oh, it's a working yeah. space. Yes, I've got Pavlina working on side. space. It's but a you're working, enjoy space. Your working space as well. My study is a working space, and I think having beauty around me makes it more creative. <clears throat> We'll never agree, will we? Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> What was this? Ooh. Like the colour. I think it's a towel. It's a beautiful yellow towel. It's a beach towel. Ooh. It reminds me my new towel that somebody sent as well in yes, orange. You've got an orange one. Yeah. Those with Amory. Amazing Ooh. together. It's such a nice towel. Beautiful. And I thought there's still more. Oh, the scallop shell. Oh, oh wow. That is wow. Incredible. That will be beautiful mm. in the chapel. Yes. Oh, yes. and look, it rests it's on the yes, sort of barnacles yes, yes, so as beautiful. well. The detail. Lovely. Hilly, it's gorgeous. I with really... holy water. <laughs> well, uh, you see, I'm sure there'll be things water. to put in there in that chapel. Yes. Holy water. When it's done. Yeah. So when the work is finally finished in there, it can go yes. in and, uh, and be seen in there. Yeah. Not even wow. In Maybe. the meantime, before it has a life in the chapel, it can have a life in the chateau whilst the chapel is being restored and it can have sweets in for everyone. Yeah, that's yeah. Really, really, it's really a good nice. amount of sweets for everybody. Yeah, that's a very good. It'd be lovely at Christmas like yeah. that. First lost, then found. Hurrah. Oh, well, that's adorable. What does this say? This little guy was found completely lost. He said he was on a search for his father, known by Tartan, and identified in a vlog by a chatelaine in France who wears yellow, therefore the yellow scarf. The Tartan got also lost down the way from Scotland. Let's look at this. <laughs> oh. Is a mini Jerry? Oh. oh, and he has a sledge. It's a winter jerry. Winter oh, jerry. Lovely. <laughs> I think he can be one of our Christmas ornaments. Yes. Obviously, he's yes. so cute. Look at that. Imagine that under the tree at Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> Just darling. <laughs> okay, someone more competent is now going to take over the putting together of the sledge. Have a happy life with all from the Black Forest. Bon anniversaire pour Antoine. We'll keep this for yes. him. What a beautiful Ooh. bag. Beautiful bag. Absolutely beautiful bag. Gosh, that's nice. For Princess Pavlina. Oh, wow. Ooh, well, that's really pretty. Pavlina's busy right now, so for Natty, oh, well, I'm going to put this in again you. because now you've got two gifts. Yes. Open. Lovely eyed Pavlina. So Princess Pavlina and lovely eyed Pavlina. Yeah. They both get gifts. Okay, we'll swap. Thank you. Mm -hmm. we'll, yes, we'll swap. No, you've done it. You've done it. <laughs> There, and he can, he can sit on there, look. He likes to stand next to it, holding it, actually. That's his favorite thing to do. <laughs> oh, you can just tie that there. Yeah, he's adorable. Oh, to think that somebody made him is lovely. He's very yeah. much looking forward to Christmas, I think, aren't you? <laughs> yes. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. He's a bit shy. <laughs> So cute. We could do this for ages. Sorry, Kathleen. Kathleen is only getting her presents. I know. He's got a place. Oh. Where am I? Is there any snow here? <laughs> there will be. You just have to wait a little bit. It's a shirt. Uh, oh, it's a shirt. Oh, nice. I love the fabric. Yeah. And it has such a nice. First of all, I love blue. <laughs> Your favorite color. And uh, second of all, look at this pattern. Yeah. And it feels really nice too. Yeah, it's, it's really lovely. lovely. Thank you. Thank you. And it says uh, for Princess Pavlina, I think, because uh, the shirt is called Reine. Oh. So it's uh, Reine Oh, like royal? Queen, Queen Wool. It's like royal, royal wool, I think, royal or something. Okay. For lovely sparkling eyed Pavlina. You are, yeah, lovely sparkling <laughs> Pavlina. Oh, this is a very beautiful card. Look. That's really pretty. Oh, that's you picking flowers. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, in the garden. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's you. Getting the flowers <laughs> in. Little winter Jerry is curious. He, is, he absolutely <laughs> loves it, winter Jerry. We've come to a very exciting place. Ooh. Oh, this is a scarf, oh, I think. Such a pretty blue. Oh, oh that's so lovely. It's Oscar de la Renta. Mm -hmm. And look at the lovely polka dots it's on it as well. It's amazing. It shines. 
<laughs> Someone very excited about it. What a pretty, it's beautiful. It's really a beautiful scarf. Gosh, and it's double that. Oh, I'm trying this on. Though. Yeah. Oh, it's it's beautiful. I love that. Really like the delicate polka dots that just come out in the weave. Oh. It's gorgeous. Really so beautiful. beautiful. So pretty. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Hilly. Okay, Natty, let's Maybe. swap places because well, you've got your two yes. gifts to open now. Ooh. A Burberry. What is this scarf? Ooh. That's for the sea. Ooh, look at this. Oh, this. what a colour! Colours. <sighs> seascape. Wow, wow. Oh, it's gorgeous. Landscape, seascapes. Oh, it's I gorgeous. Love it. Love colours. <laughs> and it goes with my, my trousers. <laughs> <laughs> it's incredibly pretty. I can use it like this anyway, right? Oh, you yeah, can. I have many colours to this. <laughs> I can go with whatever. And wait, there's one more. It's another one. And this one is like a map. Oh, it does with the London dreams. London. <laughs> it says something about, look at this. I love the red edge on it as well. Yes. Oh, it's going to suit you oh, so well. Nice area. Of so course. Much, Hyde it's Park. So beautiful. And Green Park. Gosh, you've got Buckingham Palace there, the <laughs> yeah. Mall, the Ritz. Beautiful. It is beautiful. Yeah, it really so is much. stunning. Just stunning. Love the colours. Yeah, you like it too? <laughs> <laughs> and I had another present from Kathy before, right? Yes. <laughs> you look so happy, Natty. It's so lovely. I love to open presents, you know me. It's like Christmas every day at the lunch. I know, we're so lucky. We're so blessed, yeah. The packaging has a little sticker. <laughs> oh, yes, pretty. I love this flower. What is the name of that flower? <laughs> <laughs> All the florist uh, girls around me. Oh, wow. Oh, this approach. Oh. And oh, another gorgeous God. scarf. Beautiful. Yes. That is so stunning. unusual. Really so stunning. Mm. And the colors are amazing, too. Oh, oh yeah. It's more winter. -y. That's it. That's your winter now. one, and yes. the other two will be perfect in the summer, summer. and the um, mm -hmm. autumn and spring. It's beautiful. So beautiful colors. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a pashmina. Natty, after seeing the Halloween costumes, you and Amory were. Um... Oh, they were terrifying yeah. your day of the dead. <laughs> oh, this will give you more inspiration for this year <laughs> the day of the dead, Dia de los Muertos. Paper dolls, how cool is that? I love paper dolls. I could do my own costume. Probably. I bet you'll play with those paper dolls. You're just going to love cutting oh, them all I out. Did, I did a lot. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, that's sexy. I like this costume. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can mm. see you in that. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> this is the one. Ooh, Take a leaf. Wow. <laughs> this is great. Thank you so much, Kathy. And here's another one. And this is from the UK. Oh, Stephanie et al. <gasps> Love and hedgehogs. Stephanie et al, thank you. Just love watching you all on Channel 4, Chateau Diaries and Caddo. You've introduced me to so many joys with your visits, soirees and wonderful people around La Land. I feel part of your extended circle of friends and family around the world. Love and virtual hugs, Lisa. I think he enjoyed that card very yeah, much. He's, 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 he's very, very uh, attentive to everything that's going on, I've noticed. There's goodies. There's so many tea-based goodies. Darjeeling, Fortnum oh. and Mason. And I just love the Fortnum and Mason mm. tin. Yes, package. I mean, aside yeah. from the tea being delicious, mm. isn't that the prettiest, prettiest tin? Yes. And there's more Fortnum and Mason tea in here. Countess Grey. You love Countess yes, Grey, I don't do. you? <laughs> That's the one, a little bit different from the Earl. A twist on the traditional bergamot infused blend. Countess Grey is based on well twisted orange pico teas, lifted by classic bergamot and orange. Mm -hmm. So we can all try these, but I, yeah, I think that uh, I know you're the most excited about that. Thanks, Pavlina. Mummy and Percy, these are for you. Yes, it is heart straws. That's the one thing your apartment was missing. Heart what straws, is yes. Straws oh, in the shape just, of hearts. Oh. I was just saying that to her yesterday. Yeah. yeah. Oh, if only we had heart straws in <laughs> yeah. here. Well, now you do, Percy. It is a... No, it it's, is a it's not a gun. It's a drill. Oh, it's a drill. It's not a gun, Stephanie. Amory on the drill. <laughs> 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 
Isn't it quite worrying that my first thought on seeing the handle was yeah. done? Yeah. Yes. I'm concerned. What's going on in my mind? Of course it was a drill. Something to do. Do you want to look in there, Percy? See, see what that yeah. is. And Pavlina, you want to explore in that. And I, I know that you're extremely busy holding your new friend, but perhaps you could open this. I think I think you and I are opening candles, mummy. That little box that Pavlina is holding matches uh, the ones that was oh, sending before. Yes, yes. I think it are similar. aren't they in your apartment, Isabel? Uh, are they in your apartment, Mummy? These lovely boxes. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. <gasps> cream sherry Fortnum and Mason, aged twelve years. Mm. Wow. Well, that is Christmas sorted. Oh, but I'm mm -hmm. giving you mm -hmm. imagine that at Christmas and something else for the tree. It's it's Amory again. Uh, this is oh yeah, Nick. Friend. Yeah, Nick and Amory are now on the tree <laughs> with sparkling tools. <laughs> Love it. There is one more decoration. Oh, it's a pretty one. Oh, isn't that pretty? <gasps> I love it. Gorgeous. Oh, so cute. Sweet. Got mints. Any more mint? Mint, anyone? No, thank you. <laughs> oh, look the at the colours. Set. Candles. Yes. Decorations. I love Great. these. And they're those lovely, really wide ones that are so pretty. Mm. They are gorgeous. Oh, they're so gorgeous. So now I'm imagining perfect evening near Christmas. So these are spring colours, aren't they? Wouldn't this be pretty for the Easter table? Mm -hmm. Maybe we should keep these oh. for Easter because they're so gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And Percy has got more. Oh, yes, what did you have, Percy? Yeah, not at all. It says British birds. British birds, coconut scented. Coconut scented British birds. Spray a small amount in the palm of your hand and rub the hands together until dry. Is this? This is flammable. <laughs> yeah. Coconut scented. What is it? It must be hand clean. Let's see. Coconut scent. Yeah, hand sanitizer. Sanitizer. Hand wow. sanitizer. That's, that's really coming to you, Jeff. That's yeah, that, absolutely. <laughs> this is also definitely. Shall we try mm. some? Coconut scented. Do you like some hand sanitizer, madam? <gasps> the smell. Oh, wow. Mm. That is the oh, best. That's the best scented hand sanitizer. Thank you. Would you like some plastic? I would. Very important to sanitize oh, one's hands regularly. You. Isn't that nice? Mm. I love it. Okay, mm. that that is definitely coming to Egypt. <laughs> and here is a door. A fairy door. A fairy door. We're getting quite a collection of little fairy doors in the garden. So have you got a spot for that one, Pavlina? We were all thinking about uh, something. Yes, you'll find the perfect spot. Mm -hmm. Okay. That was really cute. Oh, that one's got a ladybird on it. Look, tiny little ladybird. <laughs> ladybug. Ladybird. Ladybug. It depends. Ladybird <laughs> and the American is ladybug. Wow, yeah. I didn't know It's that. obviously a bird. Pavlina, can't you tell that's a bird? <laughs> Don't tell me you're siding <laughs> with the others. <laughs> okay, it looks more like a bug. Even I can admit that, but it's called a ladybird. In Ukrainian, it's a it's called a little cow. That is the most. I think in Argentina, that, that's a Jewish tradition. The, the cow of um, of Abraham or something yeah. like God, that. God's call little it. cow. And it, you see, it's God's Jewish. little cow. Oh, oh, yes. little well, cow. we call it little cow of San Antonio. San Antonio's little cow. <laughs> Okay, is anyone else having their mind blown quite as much as I am right now? <laughs> yes, San Antonio's little cow, God's little cow. What's the French word for? C'est une coccinelle. Oui, c'est une coccinelle. Doesn't mean anything, it's just a word. Yes, but in Hebrew, they call it the equivalent of the little cow of Abraham or, or Isaac or... Well, I'm sure something. some people will let us know in the comments. Mm -hmm. But when you think about it, it does look a bit like a little cow. And I said... Which is really cute because the they won't get much milk out of that little cow. <laughs> no. Mm. Have you tried? <laughs> no. <laughs> Poor thing. <laughs> Sorry, Percy, we got a bit distracted with the fairy door. We have some more hands in the door. Fabulous. Lovely. I was, I was worried that if you can sense? keep on sharing, you will not have any Lavender. for the trip. Lavender oh, scented. <laughs> okay, so Philip and I can have one, you and Mummy have the other. The thing is, we've got to try this one as well, just for the scent, don't we? Mm -hmm. Anyone want to try the lavender? Mm. We have a... Thank you. <laughs> oh, that's really nice. Oh. Oh, and a nail file. And I think that just works. With peacocks on it. That might be the first gift we've received 
We so think it's nail file. <laughs> 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 Oh, that's nice. Thank you so much, Lisa. Everything is really lovely and, mm. let's face it, incredibly useful as well. And so tiny. Absolutely. Like, look at this. Yes. It's going to fit perfectly. Mm -hmm. Just see, there we go. It fits inside the little pocket in the inside. Mm. So perfect. Thank you. And this is the last gift for today. And I've just spotted it's from Nairi. Nairi, I'm sure we opened gifts from you just so recently, a couple of weeks ago. Thank you so much. Oh, isn't it? that pretty. I always discover things for the first time on Caddo at the Chateau. I have never seen a paper clip with a bird on it before. It is much improved by the addition of a bird. It's absolutely Isn't lovely. that darling? It'd be lovely on the desk. Ah, <laughs> oh, tea time. Loads and loads of different teapots. Oh, I'm going to run up and show Philip this afterwards. It might give him a little strength to look at a teapot. Dear Stephanie, I hope this finds you well and happy. Please enjoy this book. A friend of mine is a renowned Australian photographer and this is his latest publication. Luckily, he included our dresses in this book along with many other fabulous examples. I have bookmarked ours. His intention was to include UK dresses but was unable to travel due to COVID restrictions, perhaps volume two in the future. There are also many delightful objects to see. It may be a good bed read. This will be released in July in the UK. So that will be released by now in the yes. UK. We're so happy to see the progress of the Chateau and feel that in a small way, we are helping by being patrons. Oh my goodness, Nara, you're helping in such a huge way. I cannot describe how much that is changing the Chateau. One day I will visit, but for now I'm traveling through to you via the post and hope you're enjoying our parcels. Lots of love, Nairi and Roger. We absolutely are, thank you. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous wrapping paper, the willow pattern. See, I'll keep it, don't worry, mummy. Yes. Be as careful as I can. Yes. Look at this, it's so debonair, Percy. You spotted an opportunity there straight away. Thank you, I yes. love it. Yes, that's yes. exactly how it should be worn. That's how it should be worn, yeah. <laughs> kitchen dresses. In praise of a furniture icon, kitchen dresses. It's published by Thames and Hudson, Simon Griffiths. That's stunning, and I'm, really beside myself with excitement, Nairi and Roger, at the thought that your kitchen dresser is in here. So we're about to see actually something that's in your home. And it's really lovely because you see our home all the time. But of course, when we get gifts, we don't know where they're coming from. Let's have a little look at your kitchen dresser. Oh, <gasps> I love it. Begonias and a gnome, Nairi and Roger Hudson. A fine and rare Bosley pottery gnome, it's stunning, stands guard over the many and varied collections in the dining room of Nairi and Roger Hudson's home. He watches over their early miners' cottage in central Victoria from his vantage point on the Australian colonial shield doored dresser, a clever find by the pair years ago at an antique fair in Bendigo. Its diminutive size means it fits perfectly into a niche beside the fireplace and looks like it was built for the spot. Look at that. Look at the gnome. I have never oh, yeah. ever seen a gnome like it. Never. And the size of the gnome. He's gorgeous. So There's beautiful. also a koala in there. Yeah, the it is. I haven't seen the koala up at the top. It is so Australian. <laughs> That's so lovely. And this is the whole room. Oh, it's gorgeous. Your home is beautiful. And I wow. see you've got spode and biscuits on the table. So there's a little bit of Lalande I'm seeing over there. Beautiful. It is stunning. Thank you so, so much for sending this. This really is a beautiful gift to end on. Mm. I mean, I'm looking forward to seeing all of them in here, but it's actually, it's really moving for me to see where you live. So wow. thank you very much for sending it. And thank you to everybody viewing because it's because of you that we're able to pass on all of the happiness that we receive every single week here. And we're totally overwhelmed by it. It doesn't matter how many weeks that this has been going on for, we're stunned every time. And because of you viewing it, we're able to pass on the ad revenue that we get from this channel to a different charity every month and hope that we bring joy into other people's lives as well. Mm. But it's all because of you. So thank you everybody and goodbye from Lalande. And we will see you again next week, by which time we should be back from Egypt and filming here again. <laughs> Bye everyone. Bye. 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 And I've just turned the page over. There's more of your home and it's, I think, even more mind blowing than the gnome dresser. Oh, look at the parrots, but look at this. Love the colors. Just stunning. Oh, the parrots and the 
cabbage plates. All of this is exquisite. Is there, there's the room that they're, oh my goodness. I love this so, so, so much. What a fabulous home you have. Pavlina's has just noticed something. There's kangaroos on the chairs. Wow, Pavlina. How did you see that, that detail? <laughs> Pavlina, I do not know how you saw that. Uh, you're amazing. What is it? Kangaroo is it? on the chairs. Oh, goodness, yes. That's really Australia. <laughs> yeah, it comes. Yes. 